four, three, two, one. MDS two. We have ignition. We have a liftoff. NASA launched Voyager 1 more than 40 years ago, and in 2023, it made an unlikely find in the deep, uncharted space between stars. Voyager 1 started sending information about a cosmic event that doesn't fit with what we know now, a long time after its predicted lifespan had ended. It ran into a strange energy field that was different from anything we had seen or heard before. The strange way that cosmic rays and energy particles move in this field says that there is a part of the interstellar medium that we didn't know about before. Scientists are now wondering what this means for how we think about the space between stars and the forces that pull our galaxy together. This discovery, which is still being studied, could change the way we think about the very structure of the world. People might not have known about the strange energy field in interstellar space that makes us question what we think we know about the universe if the Voyager missions hadn't been launched. This kind of finding, made decades after the missions were first launched, shows how important these missions have been to our understanding of the universe. In addition, the Voyager's trip was very important for finding strange cosmic rays, which showed how complex the interactions are at the edge of the heliosphere, and gave scientists clues about the nature of cosmic radiation and how it affects communication and travel between stars. If Voyager 1 and 2 had failed or never set out on their epic trips, our maps of the outer planets and their moons would not have the amazing level of detail we have now. We might not have seen the mountains on Io or the icy surface of Europa. We might not have even known how Saturn's rings move or how Titan and Triton's atmospheres are different. These detailed observations have been very helpful in building models of how planets form and change over time which has affected the search for life on other worlds. It's also created a whole new area of study because they continued their journey into space between stars, which was not planned. Finally, we understand where our solar system fits in the nearby cloud of stars and how the heliosphere protects us from cosmic radiation. If these projects didn't happen, we wouldn't know as much about deep space, which would make us unprepared for future trips there. We now know more about the universe thanks to the Voyager probes. They also show how curious and resourceful people can be by pushing the limits of what's possible and encouraging future generations to explore the unknown. NASA launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 in 1977, just a few weeks apart. They set out on a journey that would change the limits of space travel. These two probes had a goal, to take a trip to the outer planets and beyond that had never been done before. This was an ambitious and innovative mission at the time. The Voyagers were sent to study Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and their moons in order to answer questions that had stumped scientists for hundreds of years. They did this out of a mix of curiosity and technical brilliance. What made the Voyagers unique wasn't just where they were going. It was also how long they were going and how many science goals they had. Each spacecraft had a variety of tools on board that were meant to study the atmospheres, magnetic fields, and other physical features of the planets and moons they visited. It was thought that this set of tools would give us new information for a few years, or maybe even a decade. But the spacecraft's durability and creativity far surpassed what was expected at first. While Voyager 1 went after Jupiter and Saturn, its twin, Voyager 2, was sent on a longer trip that would also go after Uranus and Neptune. This path wasn't just a brilliant piece of navigational engineering. It also took advantage of a rare alignment of the planets that only happens once every 176 years. This alignment let the spacecraft fly from one planet to the next, stretching their missions with little fuel use. But the Voyager trips were important for more reasons than just looking at planets. As they went into the unknown, they brought the golden record with them. It was a time capsule with sounds, pictures, and notes from Earth meant for any possible alien life. This big step showed that people want to connect with the universe in a way that is meaningful to them, both scientifically and culturally. Surprisingly, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 kept sending useful information back to Earth long after their main missions were over. They were going into uncharted area in interstellar space, 
It was here that Voyager 1 made its amazing discovery in 2023, which led to new questions about how the world works and where we fit in it. You won't believe what else they found besides the gas giants that changed the way we think about the solar system. Stay tuned as we talk about the wonders Voyager found in the void. As Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 went into space, they sent signals back to Earth that changed the way we think about the universe in ways we couldn't have imagined before. With the help of the Deep Space Network, DSN, and a complex network of radio waves, these space tourists sent back information that would push the limits of what we know. It is now possible for us to receive data from far beyond our solar system thanks to this amazing deep space communication feat. Voyager 1 found what scientists call a magnetic highway at the very edge of our solar system. This was one of the most amazing things it ever found. It is possible for particles to join and leave our solar system through this area where the sun's magnetic field lines meet those in interstellar space. Scientists have had to rethink how cosmic and solar particles interact with the edges of our solar system just because of this finding. In response, Voyager 2's journey into the interstellar medium gave us the first direct measurements of its temperature and density, showing that it is a lot more complicated and dynamic than we thought. These new ideas about the nature of the space between stars have huge effects on how we think about the structure of the galaxy and how different star systems might interact with the space between stars. The Voyager's huge amounts of information about the outer planets and their moons have also completely changed how we think the solar system formed and how it has changed over time. Active geology and different climates on moons like Triton and Titan show that planetary systems form in a wider range of conditions than we thought before. This challenges the way we think about planetary science. Also, the Voyager missions have drawn the edges of the solar system in a way that has never been done before. Findings like the termination shock and the heliopause, which are places where the solar wind's impact ends, have not only helped us understand how our solar system is put together, but they have also given us a lot of useful information about how the solar wind and the interstellar medium interact. These results have allowed us to look far beyond the planets and into the vastness of space beyond. In this way, they have made sure that the Voyager missions will continue to have an impact on the future of space travel for many years to come. In addition to building on what Voyager already taught us, the discovery of strange cosmic rays shows how much the project changed our understanding of the universe. Scientists were puzzled by these rays which were a strange type of cosmic radiation. They weren't just another discovery. They were a piece of the puzzle that helped them figure out how things interact at the edges of our solar system and in the huge space between stars. As Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 traveled to the edges of the solar system, they found these strange cosmic rays, which were particles that didn't seem to follow the usual patterns of cosmic radiation. These rays came from the solar wind interacting with the interstellar medium. They gave us important information about how things move at the edge of the heliosphere, which is the sun's protected bubble. This find was important for more than one reason. First, it gave us new information about the heliosphere and how it protects our solar system from most of the radiation from space. Scientists were able to figure out the thickness and porosity of the heliosphere's outer layers by studying how strange cosmic rays behave. This was important for learning how forces from the Sun and the galaxy interact. Additionally, studying these rays opened up fresh ways to look into how particles speed up. The processes that make these particles very fast are important for both astrophysics and practical issues in spaceflight and communication. They will have an impact on how future spacecraft are built to protect astronauts from cosmic radiation. The implications of this discovery go even further. They show that our solar system is more closely linked to the galaxy beyond than we thought. As the Voyagers continue their quiet journey into space, the information they send back changes not only our studies, but also how we think about space itself. They showed us something amazing just when we thought we knew everything about Jupiter and Saturn. Next, find out what experts around the world were shocked to learn. This transition 
not only makes us more excited about the important discoveries Voyager will make, but it also ties together the story from exploring known worlds to finding out about mysteries in the universe beyond our solar system. The remarkable success of the Voyager missions can be credited to a mix of new technology, careful planning, and some lucky cosmic events. The clever use of gravity assist moves, also called slingshot techniques, was at the heart of their trip. They carefully planned a path for Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 that brought them close to the planets. This way, they could use the planet's gravitational pull to speed up and change their path without using fuel. This not only made their mission last longer, but it also let them visit planets farther away than they had planned. The technology on Voyager was very reliable, which was very important for the mission's success and length. The spaceships were made to last, even though they had technology from the 1970s. They had backup systems that could be turned on in case one of them broke. They were also built to survive the harsh conditions of space, such as radiation, high temperatures, and the vacuum. Because of this, Voyager was able to keep sending data long after their main tasks were over. The Deep Space Network, DSN, a world network of huge radio antennas that kept scientists in touch with Voyager as it went into space, was a key part of getting this information back to Earth. The DSN was very important for both getting the huge amount of data that the spacecraft sent back and sending orders across billions of miles of space to guide Voyager through the outer planets and into space between the stars. The Voyager trips were not only amazing feats of science and engineering, but they also showed how curious people are and how much they want to discover new things. The information sent back to Earth has changed the way we think about the worlds beyond our solar system, their moons, and even the nature of space itself. The slingshot moves took Voyager to the edge of our solar system. What they found next made us question what we thought we knew about space. After their unique meeting with the heliopause, don't miss what comes next. This intro not only honors the technical and scientific achievements that made the Voyager mission successful, but it also hints at the amazing discoveries that were made in the vast, unexplored areas beyond the planets, enticing viewers to keep going on the trip into the unknown parts of space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 went beyond the outer planets and into parts of space that not many people thought could be studied in such detail. The edge of our solar system used to be just an idea in astronomy books, but these brave travelers turned it into a real place. Their experiences with the heliosphere and the heliopause have taught us a lot about how our stellar neighborhood is put together. Our solar system is protected from most cosmic rays from other galaxies by the heliosphere, which is like a big bubble. This bubble goes far beyond Pluto's orbit. It was made by the solar wind, which is a stream of charged particles coming from the sun. The Voyager data were very helpful in making maps of the heliosphere and figuring out how it interacts with the interstellar medium, which is made up of gas and dust between the stars in our galaxy. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the line between the solar wind's impact and the interstellar medium, it went into a part of space that no human-made object had ever been before. Scientists took measurements of interstellar space for the first time at this historic event. These measurements supported ideas and raised new questions about the nature of the galaxy. The Oort cloud is the last unexplored area in our solar system. It is thought to be a shell of icy objects that surrounds the sun at a distance that our spaceship has not yet reached. The Voyager spacecraft hasn't hit the Oort cloud yet, but its journey into interstellar space helps us learn more about the edge of our solar system and the rest of the galaxy. Voyager's unique trip has taught us that our solar system is both protected by and changes in response to the galaxy as a whole. This interaction at the edge of the heliosphere, where the sun's outgoing forces meet the approaching cosmic wind, shows how complex the weather patterns are in the universe. These patterns affect everything, from how stars form to how planets billions of miles away live. Voyager's legacy gives us more than just data as it continues its trip into the unknown. Stay tuned to find out how these twin probes continue to motivate us to learn more about the universe beyond the stars. As Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 continue their quiet journey into the unknown, they ask us to think about more than just the amazing things in our solar system. 
They want us to think about the bigger picture of our galaxy. One idea that really makes this clear is the cosmic year. This is how long it takes for our solar system to go around the center of the Milky Way once, which is about 225 million Earth years. This mind-bogglingly long time scale helps us understand not only how big space is, but also how short our lives are in the grand system of things. We can think of our journey through the galaxy as part of this big cosmic year, thanks to Voyager's trip into interstellar space. As these satellites cross the heliopause and enter areas that humans have never directly explored, they serve as signs of the huge distances and times that make up the rhythm of our galaxy. This view changes the way we think about the Earth, from seeing it as a fixed object to seeing how it moves through space and time. It shows how important the Voyager missions were, not only for scientific discovery, but also as turning points in how people are learning about their place in the world. The idea of the cosmic year also makes us think about the future of humanity in this very large universe. Earth's journey is measured in cosmic years. The Voyager's lasting legacy serves as a guide for future explorations, pushing us to think bigger and go deeper into the unknown. This means that Voyager's accomplishments go beyond the science they directly produced. They have led to a philosophical reflection on our place in the universe. Their trip, which took a very small part of a cosmic year, makes us think about how connected and fragile our lives are in the vastness of the universe. Voyager's legacy gives us more than just data as it continues its trip into the unknown. Stay tuned to find out how these twin probes continue to motivate us to learn more about the universe beyond the stars. When we think about the Voyager probe's amazing journey, we can't help but be amazed at their lasting impact and wonder about their next trip into the void of space. Since they were sent into space more than 40 years ago, these brave explorers have gone beyond all expectations, going places no human-made object has gone before and sending back valuable information about the mysteries of our world. Their legacy includes many things, such as science discoveries, new technologies, and cultural importance. Scientists and engineers have been moved by Voyager's spirit of exploration for many years. It has helped us learn more about space and imagine what else might be possible beyond our solar system. But the most important thing about Voyager's legacy might be the word they carry, the golden records. These records, which are filled with sounds and pictures that show the variety of life on Earth, are like a time capsule that holds all of humanity's accomplishments and hopes. They show how curious and creative we are. These things tell us that even though we are different, we are all human and want to explore the unknown. Voyager is still on its own trip through interstellar space, but its job is far from over. With tools that keep sending data back to Earth, these tough spacecraft will be able to keep exploring for years to come, giving us glimpses into the farthest parts of our galaxy and beyond. Their future is unknown, but their memory will live on. The Voyager probes will always have a special place in the history of space travel. They were examples of how creative and determined people can be. And every time we look up at the stars, we can't help but wonder what new wonders, mysteries, and signals they will send to the farthest corners of the universe. Since you've made it this far, don't forget to click the video on your screen, like it, and subscribe.